this voice was finally heard. A group of Democratic lawmakers announced Wednesday a plan to reintroduce to Congress the DREAM Act that would allow undocumented young immigrants to eventually earn citizenship. President Barack Obama also pushed for the bill again. Everybody recognizes the system's broken. The question is, will we finally summon the political will to do something about it? DREAM Act advocates have unsuccessfully attempted to get the bill passed in Congress since 2001. The U.S. Senate rejected the bill last December, but DREAM Act advocates never gave up. The DREAM Act never died because the DREAMers are still here, we're still fighting for it. In March, a group of undocumented young immigrants from the New York State Youth Leadership Council visited the state capitol in Albany to request legislators to sponsor the DREAM Act. Today, uh, we came to Albany to lobby for the New York DREAM Act, which is a bill that would help um, undocumented students in the state of New York to obtain access to financial aid um, and a work permit. If the whole world could see that we don't care where you come from, that if you come here and we can help you to become better people and better citizens, that the whole world will have more respect for us. Jong Min is a 31-year-old Korean-American. He came to the U.S. at age one, grew up and attended university here. But he can be deported any time. He's undocumented. Now he works at a family-run grocery store in Brooklyn. Um, being undocumented is like living in an invisible prison. You're trapped there behind these invisible bars, and you can't, you can't drive, you can't vote, you can't study abroad. NYSYLC, where Jongmin and hundreds of other members campaigned for the DREAM Act, says it is pressing for a similar bill at the state legislature. They grew up here. They were raised here. Taxpayers have paid for their education from K through 12. They want to become the next Bill Gates next teachers, next lawyers, next doctors. And now all of a sudden, at the age of 18, you say, get out. It's like you invested in these kids, but you then you don't get the reward back at the end of all those years. The new Democratic push has brought the DREAM Act back to life, but the future of the bill remains unclear as the Republican boycott continues. The Department of Homeland Security says 10.8 million illegal immigrants live in the U.S. as of in January 2010. That accounts for 3 percent of the total U.S. population. For NYU Now, I'm Kwanu Jun in Albany.